us to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So this is basically uh, the fifth episode in this series where we are looking at the November 2022 Mathematics Paper 1. The first four episodes covered question 1 through 8. So let us move straight to question 9. The matrix M equals 1, 2, 5, 7 and the matrix N equals 0, 2, 1, 0. Find A, the transpose of M. So basically, we are given M, we are asked to find the transpose. Then a B, find a, the multiplication between matrix N and M. So let us start with the uh, question A. So generally, when you are given a matrix, say M is equal to, generally we have A here, then you have B, then you have C, then you have D. So to find M transpose, which is basically equivalent to uh, swapping the rows and the columns. So to find M transpose, what we do is basically this becomes the columns. So what we are going to have, we are going to have A here, remains the way it is, then we are going to have B. Then this one which was uh, the second row becomes a column. So we are going to have C here, then D here. So it's this principle that you use to answer M. So now given that this is M, so M transpose becomes now, so what we are going to have this one becomes the first column. So we are going to have 1, 5, then this one becomes the second column, which is 2, 7. So if you notice in this case, what happens is A and D does not change the position. So it's this B and C that swaps. That's what basically happens. So this is basically the M transpose, which is A, which is 1, 5, then 2, 7. So basically, this is the principle that you use. We look at a B. We need to find the multiplication. So to multiply our two matrices, what you do is to find NM, the order is very important. So N is 0, 2, 1, 0. Then we are multiplying with e basically 1, 2, 5, 7, like this. So this is what we need to do. So when you are given such a case, what is going to happen in this case is the similar case. So what we do is we are going to multiply basically this row with these columns. That's what we are going to do. So that's the principle that you follow. So in this case, what we are going to have is this zero. I use the black one zero multiplied by one. We get a basically zero. So it will be zero then plus then to be a one multiplied by two. We are going to get a 2. Then next, you are going to multiply the same first law with this now. So to be 0 multiplied by 5, it will be 0. Then plus, we are going to have 1 multiplied by 7, it will be a 7. So we are done with him, the top row. Then what we come now, we come to this, which is this one. This one which will be 2 multiplied by the same way. Then we are going to have 2, then plus, it will be 0 multiplied by this 2, it will be basically 0. Then you add those 2, then you move next, it will be 2, this uh, second row multiplied by, now this one, the second column. It will be 2 times 5, this 5 which is here, remember we have a 5 here, it will be basically 10. Then plus, it will be 0 times the 7, which will be 0. Then at this point, you just uh, simplify. 
0 plus 2 is a 2, then 0 plus 7 is a 7, then 2 plus uh, 0 is a 2, then 10 plus 0 is a 10. So we are going to end up with uh, this matrix, which is in 2, 2, 7, 10, like this. So this is the answer. So basically, this is how you answer this question to get the 3 marks. 10M, given that the universal set E equals 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 10 as elements, where uh, x is equal to 1, 5, 9 as elements, and set y contains 3, 9, and 11. List set A intersection y complement. So, what this tells us is basically we need to find what is common between the elements that are found in A and those that are not found in E. Y. So, to answer A, what is critical is just finding Y complement. That's the first thing, because we know what X is. X is already given to us. So, we know what is found in set Y. So, we have 3, 9, 11. So, Y complement, we are saying the elements that are found in the universal set. What's the universal set? Is this E, but are not in Y. So, why we have 3, 9, 11? In universal we have 1, because 3 is in Y, so 3 is left out. So we have a 3 left out there, so we go to 5. Then next we have 7, then we have 9, but 9 is in Y, so this one is out. So we go next, then we have 11, 11 is here. So we only have 3 element, 1. 5, 7. So these are the elements that are not found in basically set Y. Then what is found in X? So X is already given to us. X is 1, 5, 9. Then we are looking for now what is found in X and at the same time found in the set of elements that are not in Y. Then we look for this intersection. So we have basically a 1, then we have a 5. Remember, this one and this one are not found in both sets. So we only have two elements. So in this case, you see basically just setting basically 1 and 5. This is the list, the list of elements that are found in. So you see that set, which is basically 1 and 5. That set is what we are looking for. Then, question B, describe fully the single transformation which maps triangle A onto triangle B. So, what we know is, if you look at um, B, B is this set, triangle, then A is this one. So, if you see this one, they are sharing the same edge. This is the same age, they are sharing the same. So what you notice here, this distance from here to here and this distance from here to here are equal. Then this distance from here to here are equal. So basically, possibly this is a reflection. That's how you tell whether it's a reflection. You see the sides. They are the mirror of each other. So what we know is basically this is a reflection. So now reflection need to be described with the Miller line. What's the Miller line? The Miller line is this value, which is y is equal to 2. So it's a reflection with Miller line y is equal to 2. Basically, you would have described the transformation fully. So basically, this is how you answer question 10. Thank you viewers for watching uh, this uh, video. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing to our channel because of course so much content for you. So once you subscribe and go to our YouTube channel, you'll discover that we've got extensive exam revision where I've covered questions in mathematics, physics, and 
chemistry. Then we are also adding more subjects. We've got also another section which is topic based exam question revisions. This is the best section for you if you are facing any challenges in any specific topic. Remember, for you to master anything, you need to know how questions are asked. Hence, we give you tips and tricks by giving you extensive explanation to each and every question.